What is going on guys and welcome to another video and this week Well today went and got a trim. That's what I did this morning I also went and got a new tire for the car because it was a bit It was a bit bare just slightly not not great already three o'clock in the afternoon Today I've just decided to have a bit of a chill day. Well, I feel like I'm chill in a while So I thought get out early went out about nine o'clock went to get the haircut first then went for a meeting at work and now, then went straight to get a tyre. I thought I needed three, but once they um, checked it over, they said, no, you're back to a fine. It's just that front right one just needs changing. Changed the tyre, and then I came back, ate my lunch, watched some Family Guy. Now we're carrying on with the rest of the day. Puppy update. He's still, still a dog, looking scruffy again. It's only been a week. But I think I am gonna go to a fish shop, and because, <laughs> I took all the real plants out of this tank, as you know, if you've seen my other videos. There's Nelson. But it looks very, very bare. So I'm thinking I want I want a live plant for that tank. And I'm also thinking if I see a good one, another plant for this one. Oh, the things come out. They're a nightmare, they are. They always come out. But I've got this plant. It's doing. It was doing really well. But I trimmed it, trimmed it right down because it was going a bit crazy. It was wrapped all around the all around the bridge. The texture is still alive. I don't know. I don't know if it's the light that startles them, but it, I've noticed if it, the tank's dark, they swim around a lot. So I don't know if they're being attacked or anything. They don't seem hurt or anything. There's no fins missing or anything like that. Today's day again, so it's feeding day again. Today, but I think if I can get a cool, find a cool plant for this tank, I am going to get it and I'll show you planting it. Oh, it's absolutely filthy as anything. Oh, it's so good. You see that? Somebody drew on my car, so I rubbed it off. That's how dirty it's gotten already. It's only been like a week, two weeks. It's so bad. The inside's not too bad. It's not great. Fish place. Well, the fish place is a fish place. They always have fish stuff. So that should be simple. Hopefully they've got a good plant there. I got all the stuff that I wanted and more. Well, not much more, but I got something extra that I didn't really need, but I got because I thought I had a great idea while I was in there. And yeah, now I'll just drive home and I'll see you when we get back. So I've decided actually where I'm going to go for my McDonald's. Am I going to bring it back or not? Ugh. I have nothing I need to do today. I'm just having my last McDonald's because I know that I can't. I haven't decided if it's going to be tomorrow or the next week because I'm on holiday at the moment. But I am starting. I am going to get fitter. I am going to do it. I'm going to discipline myself because that's the hardest thing is discipline. Because if you don't have discipline. Well, you don't you don't teach yourself anything. It's like with getting up early in the morning. I really want to do that, but it's all about discipline. Discipline, gym, discipline. Everything is discipline. But it's so easy just to just to enjoy yourself and just coast along and do what you want. But to discipline yourself and to train yourself that to get up early, to eat healthy, to not want that McDonald's that I really, really want now. It's a lot, it's a lot easier said than done. Just with every goal in life, it's always easier said than done. And that's, at the end of the day, that's what separates people that's what separates the people 
who are successful and who aren't. Because the people with the discipline and the work, work hard ethic, the work hard attitude, are the people that at the end of the day get places. And that's why I feel like I've got the stupid goals. You know, the I want to be rich, the, the I want to do this, I want to do that. But everyone has that at some point. The most unrealistic goals, everyone can have them. But it's the people that do something, do anything about it to try and achieve them. Even if the best saying I've ever heard is if you shoot, what is it? If you shoot for the sun, you land amongst the stars. Which basically means if you have a goal to be a billionaire, and you make it as a millionaire, you can still count yourself as successful. You can still count yourself as, I've achieved lots, even if it's not the ultimate goal I've still achieved. That's just one example in the, that's just one example you use this. Another one could be something like, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the best football player in the world. But, you become, you just end up playing for a Premier League team. And you just end up playing a starting 11 for a Premier League team. You might not be the best player in the world, but at the end of the day, you have, you've got your goal of you are a football player, you've got the lifestyle you want, you just might not be the best player in the world. So you've landed, you've landed among the stars. But it all comes with that discipline, the Discipline, the work hard attitude, it all, you need it all before you can achieve anything. Like, the only positive I've got is I don't go out drinking, I don't go out spending half my money on going out clubbing and stuff like that every weekend. But I do like to treat myself in other ways, like go out for meals, do things like that, which as soon as it's time, as soon as, as soon as I'm ready, which I'm hoping is next Monday, that's all gonna stop. Don't get me wrong, you got to live at the same time, like I'm gonna go out for one meal, one meal or a month, or if it's spontaneous, I'm not gonna go, right, I, I'm saving money, I'm not, I can't, no, not happening. Don't get me wrong, I'm not, I'm still going to live, but it's, it's the restraining yourself, the stopping yourself from just, the discipline, discipline, comes all comes back to discipline. stupid, I could talk about this all day, but whether I actually do it or not, it's just a whole other matter. But I'm telling myself, I'm giving myself one last shot at these most, these ridiculous goals that are in my head. I'm giving myself one last shot at them. Otherwise, I'm going to have to start just get used to I'm just going to have to have a normal job, normal life. Nine to five. I'm just gonna have to have one of them. Because the 
way I'm going is much as you can dream. I haven't, I, I've nowhere near got the discipline at the moment. I've had for years these goals in my head. But I haven't done anything about them. Don't get me wrong, I've, I've, I've had a week or a couple of days where I've done something towards them and then I've just stopped because the discipline, I haven't got the discipline. Simple as that. Jim, a couple of years ago, I went once or twice a week for a couple of weeks. I started seeing results, don't even get me wrong, I started seeing results. Like, not massive results, but I started seeing results and then I just stopped and I got into the routine of uh, waking up at about 12 on my day off, wake up about 12, go to the shop, get some like ready meals, get an energy drink, go back home and watch films all day. And I wouldn't feel good at all. I don't feel good doing that. I, I don't know if it's because I've got the mindset I want to achieve more and I'm not achieving more. I don't even know why, why I'm putting this. I only put it there so I can record myself getting a McDonald's. But yeah, that, that's a car rant over. Quite enjoyed it actually. Might do it again sometime. Now I know this phone stand works in my car. Might do it again sometime.